my passion is, is social history. And all these items that we deal with, all the antique pieces, are tangible windows into the past. So we can see how society was in a particular period when something was made and how it was used and how society shaped what we have today and all the items in the, in the house. I joined the business, I was running the gallery and also took on the role of organising international shows. So we exhibited right across America, um, in England, in London of course. We do more than just buy and sell antiques. We have full restoration services, we do upholstery, we do valuations and appraisals and we design and make things as well, furniture and decorative objects. It all started back in the early 19th century, uh, it was the origins of the family business, but it was my great-grandfather, John Bly II, who first showed an academic interest in his stock, and amongst his clients were nobility and museums. My grandfather, Frank John, also dealt with some amazing pieces of furniture. In fact, one particular example is the Kim Bolton cabinet, which he sold to the V&A in 1949. Um, unquestionably one of the most important pieces of English furniture to ever come on the market. My father, John Bly, expanded the business, writing and publishing and broadcasting, 40 years on the Antiques Roadshow, and in the firm's 100th year opened a shop in St James's in London, which is where I started. We make anything for anybody across the world, from the tiniest door hinge to an enormous crystal chandelier. From meeting an international clientele, I discovered people were looking for things that perhaps didn't really exist in the antique, as in a table of a different dimension that was commonly made, or something so wonderful that actually it's in a stately home or a museum, so, you know, un unobtainable. When I wasn't at school, I was either in the showroom or the workshop, but, and it was the restoration that I loved, and actually I, I trained as a cabinet maker, so... I understand what goes into creating a piece of furniture. What I'm doing with the bespoke side, we are shaping the social history of the future so people can look back and see what we were doing and how we were living at the time. <laughs>